Alrighty ho. <clears throat> Here we all are again, I think. Maybe we're not, because my screen's blank. Uh, ah, there we go. Good evening all. Hopefully we're there. Hopefully you're there. Give us a thumbs up under the video. Uh, if you are, type something in the uh, comments, the chat thing. That would be lovely. Then I know it's working. Mm. Let's have a look. Is there anybody there? Uh, evening, David. On time. Well done. Peter Stella, evening, evening. Peter N, evening, evening. Rob, hello. Excellent. There's a few people there then. Marvellous. Uh, right, gosh. Hopefully my voice will last out. <coughs> yeah. What a day, eh? What a day. Hmm. So, good auction, I think, all around, pretty much. Sold just about everything. Oh, which is always very nice. A uh, couple of bits we're working on that were kind of nearly there, but not quite. Um, if you're one of those bidders that uh, you're bidding on something that didn't quite sell and you're interested, get in touch. We'll see if we can wangle a deal. If we can squeeze you up a bid or two and you know squeeze a seller down a touch on the reserve, we're not far off. Hopefully we can make a deal and uh, get it sorted out. So get in touch. Uh, right, we'll have a look at the results in a minute. Um, a couple of nice little vintage videos to show you at the end, vintage film clips to round off with. Um, and so the next auctions, should do that first. Next auction, so end of the month, we've got uh, slot machine spares and books, uh, books, magazines and stuff. I'm still to toying with the idea of maybe doing a Saturday and Sunday auction, do it all across one weekend. Because uh, it's all kind of small stuff, you box it all up and send it out in one go or something. Um, so I'll contemplate that, I'll see how many lots there actually are to do, rather than kind of messing up two weekends for people. So that sounds like it might be a plan. I might even do one of them on try the timed auction thing again, rather than live bidding auction. Don't know. Toying with ideas. All will be revealed in due course. But essentially, if you've got books and the like, and you've got uh, spare parts, you need to get them to me within the next couple of weeks. Uh, then the next Vintage Amusement auction, like today's auction, will be the end of May. Might have to trip to the first week in June which would then be the, um, I did put it on the website, I got an update at the front of the website, in a busy day, uh, which would be the 2nd of June, because that last weekend in May, I think I'm tied up with this TV job for those last three weekends in May. I'm waiting for the dates to be confirmed. Um, so, yes. And actually, the last the last weekend in May is early as it was. The twenty would be the twenty sixth anyway. So uh, again, all revealed in due course. Just keep an eye on the website and the newsletters, etc. <coughs> uh, I was just going to quickly have a look at the wanted for the next one. We're always talking about the next auction because some more wanted has gone up in the past few days. A tutti frutti. If anybody's got one, someone's been in touch with me for tutti frutti. I said stick a thing up on the website, and I'm shipping temp one out. Magic roundabout. Um, there will be a magic roundabout coming sometime this year. So if you're looking for a magic roundabout, watch this space. There's one on the way. Virtual merchandise, crane, shooters people are looking for. <coughs> Working models, etc. Always worth having a look down there. Just to see what people are looking for. And the kind of money they might pay. So uh, have a look in the wanted section. If you want to put wanted ads on, it's easy to do. I've shown you before, I won't show you again tonight. Most of you know how to do it. If you get stuck, let me know. Right, so that's that. Let me have a mouthful of tea. Mm -hmm. So uh, today's auction, and hope those of you who bought something, uh, bought something nice, and you'll uh, <coughs> no doubt enjoy it. Um, equally if you're sold, hope all this stuff sold well. Uh, regarding collecting, I said at the end of the auction, but in case you didn't catch it, I know some of you left bids and went off to do family stuff because it's Easter and so on. Uh, tomorrow, Easter Monday, I can be around. I'll probably be at the warehouse from sort of mid-morning-ish for a few hours. There's a few people coming kind of late morning to pick stuff up. So get in touch and confirm because once everybody that I know uh, has been, I'll be coming home again 
I'm trying to have a couple of hours off at least this week. Rest of the week again, I'm in and out all week, each day, pretty much. Um, and next weekend, I'll be there. Uh, evening Ollie at the weekend as well. Peter C, sorry, I think I missed you. Um, so yeah, kind of any time pretty much over the next seven days. Uh, yeah, if early evenings help, I can stay a bit later as well. If you want to call in your way home from work or if you're traveling or whatever. Um, and then the following weekend or the one after, uh, I don't know yet because I'm waiting for some dates to be confirmed on things. But potentially the 13th, 14th or the 2021st, one of those weekends at some point I'll get across to the Elephant House. If you want to pick stuff up from the Midlands, if it's easy for you, let me know and we'll put it on the van and equally dropping stuff off for the next auction. The only exception to that is I'm not going to be humping jukeboxes on the van on my own, big heavy chunks like that, because uh, they're a bit back breaking and I don't want to drop them and damage them, obviously, now you've bought them. But uh, usual, you know, counters, top machines, wall machines and stuff, bits of fairground art, no problem. There we are. Uh, right then, so let's have a look at the auction today. See if there's any thing that stands out. Am I zoomed in okay? I think I have. Yeah, there we are. So clock, lot three, clock 320. Uh, the dart sign 165. I was trying to get it to 180 pounds. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? If it made 180. Nice little sign, double sided. Uh, we're always, little fairground signs always make good money. If you've got, uh, got any to sell, we've got buyers for them, desperate for them. So. Uh, the Hercules uh, enamel, 46, Lamborghini Plax, 7, little beaver vendor, 46, nice bit of carbon, 110, we sold a big piece of that, 2016 I think it was, off the same ride, I think it's off a switchback uh, girdle, quite nice. A uh, little poster, well that wouldn't go, the funny little car, is quite novel, 24. Uh, the first of the slot machines then today, oops I've scrolled too far, I'll get used to it in a minute, there we go. Uh, the Playball all in 490. A lot 12, the trellis 65. High Street Stein 55. The little robot 24. Quite good fun. Uh, the first of the band, it's 310. The uh, Copper Star. The Fairground Speedway Motorbike 300. Quite nice paint job on that one. Sussex rubbers are the best. That one didn't quite get there. I've got talking to somebody about it. We'll see if we can get a deal struck on that one. Man 44 there. Uh, the only way was the treble pools at 620. Was quite interesting that one. With a little skill stop on the um on the side there. Quite interesting. Roll down ball 95. Uh, the crane 55. This rather nice uh glass sign. I was going to buy it and just leave it hanging up in the warehouse. I thought it was quite novel, but I didn't. I resisted. I didn't think I bought anything today. It was very good. Uh, 95. The uh, Indiana Jones AWP 520. Now, these things seem to have come of age somewhat, we could say. I remember I, well, I used to refuse to take them in at the auction because it just could not give them away. Literally 20 quid. I think I've told you before, I burnt a lorry load of them. In fact, I've burnt several lorry loads of them over the years. There you go. The old story, if only we'd have known. Anyway, 520 for that one. Two little bits of carbon, 36. Uh, the paperweight, 24. Some advertising your bits. Martini, 24. Do feel free to comment, by the way, as we're going through, if anything springs to mind. Uh, the Kissometer, Kissometer, whatever you want to call it, 730. That was another one of those ones, where, you know, bidding kind of stopped at about 380 or something in 20 pound bits we were going in. I think it was about 380 kind of stopped. I said, oh, well, you know, what about a tenner then? Can I squeeze an extra few tenors out of people? Because it seemed a bit cheap to me, really. Well, it seemed quite a lot cheap. And, um, you know, it went then in 10 pound bids all the way up to 7.30. So there you go. A lot of auctions won't do that. They'll get, they just keep getting the bidding influence bigger and bigger and bigger until people just stop. To me, that's the wrong way of doing it because your job is to get as much as you can for the seller. And, uh, you know, if I've insisted on twenty pound bids, it would have sold at three hundred eighty quid. So there you go. Anyway, ran over a uh, pair of these nice pair of pillars with the fluting up them, uh, two forty. Watch nineteen fifty. 
Will Star 110. Uh, the big six, we didn't get that one away, but talking, we had the interest from France and Holland and a couple of places, so uh, we'll see if we can get that away. Lovely, lovely thing, and a couple of you come to see it. A uh, nice piece of carving there, 150. The car mascot, 90. Oops, I scrolled too far again, sorry. Uh, the Kilkoff, it was quite good fun, wasn't it? The frog, 150. This rather intriguing machine, the uh, Triple Tail, a 400. The ha 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 sign, 80. Garage lamp on 40, the Beatles calendar, 44. Uh, the Chief, 1650. These rather nice shooting gallery panels, 150 and 240. It's a bit like, like the, the cowboy, much more than the Indian. We're not supposed to call them Indian anymore, are they? Native American. Uh, gramophone 48 there. Uh, the Playable, first I think they had three. Do we have three BMK machines? Uh, the man, oops, scroll too far again. By the way, my, my screen's lined up here. Uh, 43 made 500, the Playable, the manual payout one. A little bit of carving there, 42. About 20 pound for the coat trays. The little cabinet, 170. Good for sticking your little collectibles in. Uh, the unusual penny pack, the divider gumball display one. Kind of all the bells and whistles on that penny pack, 480. Big long fiberglass uh, carving, as it were. But make a really good entrance way or something like that. Anyway, 200. And plate seven. Ah, uh, the lovely uh, automata, the new circus. Hopefully, you watch the videos of that. If not, uh, check it out on the channel. Just a complete kind of uh, somersault. Great thing, but kind of poses. So he moves a bit and poses a little bit, and then moves a bit more and poses and goes all the way around. Anyway, five hundred pound. I like that. Nice thing. Uh, the ten fifteen with the uh, Bluetooth conversion. Uh, Six thousand one hundred. Lovely jukebox that. Great value, really, at 6,001 as well. A really good buy, that. Uh, it's gone quite local as well. The Fred Fowl Shutter, 75. I think we had two of those in, didn't we? Stove, 44. Bust thing, 32. Uh, the Master Football Game, 230. I was saying in the auction, I had one of those in my very first little travelling arcade. I only had like 10 machines in there. I had one of these in. And it actually took really good money. It was quite a popular thing. Quite a good fun little game to play. And of course, because it doesn't pay out, if you're operating, great. Because you're just taking money all the time. Uh, the centre truck shutters, 150 each. The Durafix, boy, that is a great little figure. 350. With, uh, with his hiding his catapult, he's broken the bars. Very amusing. Uh, the lovely, lovely, lovely Ami H jukebox, uh, 7,000. Cracking jukebox, that. Um, yeah, whoever bought that would be very pleased with it, I'm sure. Slots of fun, £100. What else do we have? Meccano, Car 20, John Wayne, or J John Wayne. Spelling mistake, 32. Uh, the Jennings were the very unusual Jennings. Didn't get that one away. Um, again, if you were bidding on that and you're interested, get in touch. See if we can do a deal. Penny Arcade, Paul Angel sign, 95. A little Tractor 30. The uh, That fabulous scooter, 1956 Moto Rummy, uh, 3002. I was saying, if you look on, if you search for, for these on uh, Google Images or something, there's some where people have completely polished them because the, all of the bodies cast aluminium. So rather than just being thin panels, like the bump, the uh, mud guards are probably almost quarter inch thick, cast aluminium. Uh, and people strip all the paint off and completely polish them. So they look a bit like, a, like an Airstream caravan, that kind of idea, or like those 30s aeroplanes. Look fantastic all polished. No, they shouldn't be, but they do look good. Anyway, 3,200 that one. Uh, the JCW Bandit, 300. 
air rifle 130 uh, this little liner boat clockwork 50 quid 44 on the tv the triple jack nice machine that one 420 uh, the lovely fairground sign again gag board brewers uh, 460 I think I mentioned in the auction, I've got one of these from the same set I bought years ago. I seem to think it might have been when we did the John Morley auction. One of those collections. John Haywards. Somebody would think it's from one of those collections. Um, and I bought it from the sale. From the same set. I can't remember what my one said. I'll have to try and find it. But I think the same buyer bought both of these. Lovely things. Circus poster there, 44. Cool. The little five win five fifty. I scrolled too far again, haven't I? A nicely restored one there. Another bit of fairground carving. Lot seventy six ninety five. Uh, Will's flake ninety. Take that autograph eighty pounds. A secret safe with me if you bought that one. I won't tell anybody. Uh, the Chad Orwin eight hundred twenty. Again, one that's just a lot of interest in that. Loads of people ask me about it. Hmm. Nice restoration job. Uh, there's the other, that lovely gag board, 440, that one. Equal chance for all. Super thing. HMS Endeavour, 70. The yacht, 52. The little pirate ship, 9. Uh, the A, we didn't get away, but working on it, um, I'd say it's... I can say it developed a fault. It's hardly a fault, really. <coughs> it's just a little problem with the uh, the arm got to the end, end of the record. It wouldn't turn off properly. So we'll get that sorted. And um, I think I've got a buyer for it. So that will probably uh, hopefully be gone next week. But obviously, that put a few people off buying it, understandably. Uh, this nice uh, double-sided sign, Amusements for Your Pleasure, 220. Bristol Steam Navigation Company sign A85. The little Beatles um, sample slot machine there, 65. The Pyramid, 1450. Mm, the Dodgem car, the drive it down the road one, 790. That'd be good to see that. Driving away, won't it? Box rack was 50 quid. The little duck, uh, 46 automata. The churchyard model 860. The arcade sign 2028, cheaper than you can get a made. 32, 14. Uh, the 21, 300. Quite a nice one, that one. Original, all original. The kind of only fault was it broke and handled, but the bits there, so you could pin it and glue it or weld it. Uh, the Porthcall Coney Beach poster. Nice original one there, framed and glazed, 70 quid. Uh, little model slot machine, 18. Uh, BM Co, the automatic power out uh, play ball, 800. The cast iron uh, cricket base, three, 3001. That's off to America. Hopefully to be uni reunited with the top. Clownhead, hundred pounds. Um, Shooting gallery target, twenty six, twelve, whatever. Uh, the hidden treasure, two thousand. This one, nice original machine again. In. Again, one of those um, ex uh, Thomas's Hunt Stanton, untouched since nineteen seventy one, and um, we sold three of them now. Is it? I think, um, and they come up really well. The chrome and polished up, lovely. The original paint, of course. Hmm, it's a little bit of work. They come up nice. Uh, the Bert Holland Waltz of Pillars, £50, 50 and 46 uh, The Playball, the other um, automatic payout BMK machine, 740 uh, Sorry, not a Playball, this is a little Mickey. That's got the wrong top on it. Um, it says Playball. So those three all came from the same source, and obviously sometime in the past, someone had a lot of Playball tops. There you go. Uh, the Solar Horoscope by Peerless. Uh, 2000, nice machine that. Yeah, quite a rare thing. Please, circus on 34, the little car. Oh dear, excuse me, 320. This scarecrow ghost train thingy. <coughs> dear, 120. My voice is going. 
Double six, the double six Golly Wales, uh, 540 on that one. Other Brad Bow Shutter 50 quid, a few magic books, three quid a piece. The Coke Machine didn't get that one away. Again, if you're interested, get in touch, see if we can do a deal. The bumper car, oh, I have sold this one now for 80. The chap who bought the other one, Wembley Flag 9, um, the Fruit Dial 310, the clock conversion, there's the Fruit Dial. Bit of fairground carbon 48, a little heater 32, bowls 40. The Roll and Race and Coin Crash Derby Machine thing, 480. I think that's going on site, I think if I remember rightly, by who's bought that. And they will do very, very, very well out of it. It will pay for itself in a couple of weeks, I should think. A week probably. They did when I operated them. Very good operating pieces. Uh, Angel Lamp, 260. Angel Lamp. Part 20 quid. Little set of cars didn't go. The uh, Winner Navy Scotch. Again, another all win doesn't turn up too often that one, the Navy Scotch one. Um, 5.30. Sign. That one didn't go. £80 the dodge in front. Big five sixty. The other JCW Bandit, 3.10, the blue one. Bandit stand 65, I'm always getting asked for bandit stands. If you've got bandit stands and you want to sell them, bring them to me, I can sell them all day long. Uh, that organ front panel, 28. Probably dance organ, I think, rather than fairground organ, but yeah. The four feet, 32. The mini Seegers, 95 the pair. Uh, the Crompton's Cakewalk tops, 32 and 40. Can't remember who bought them. I'm hoping, kind of hope they might be going back on a machine. It'd be really nice. But equally, they look good framed up, hung on the wall. But uh, it'd be nice to think they'd make their way back onto a machine, wouldn't it? Uh, the Seeger cabinet, 330. And uh, the Mech, 170. Or Magic Book, 714. Seven and three. Uh, the Rippler 610. The uh, carved little seal there on a stand, 280. Thingies. We've got two pounds for the thingies. Excellent. 40 pounds for the living van things. Uh, that really nice vendor. Nice restoration job on that one. Um, lot 153, made 340. The cigarette machine. The all wind stand things. 40 with a piece. The Playwright, that was a great machine, I like that. Thought that would do well. 610, good fun thing. Uh, Penny of Shoot, 44. Uh, the Auto Route by Barcrest, 540. Again, another one of these ones a few years ago. We couldn't get a fiver bid for, we did just a smashed up. There we go. If only you'd have known back then to fill a warehouse up with them. But that's why they're rare and make loads of money now, I guess, because we all threw them away. Hmm. Uh, CD Jukebox, 65. That was a project one. Little Consulate wall box, 140. Um, the video tables. Now, this was a bit of an oddball one. The Insector X, so the one that was up and working, the Tato game in it, made 75. And the one that was... Not working, made 110. Figure that one out, because I can't. A couple of roll-down chips, a couple of quid. Uh, the Pete's Penny Ante, nice little poker machine, that one. Uh, that's another one that's quite a good fun thing to play. 350, the Seeger's 95 again. Uh, the little Deval, the non-coin-op one. One of the things, it's, it's non-coin-op, so a lot of the coin-op people don't like it so much, but it's actually rarer than the coin-op ones. So if you're collecting them up, it's a hard one to find. 240. The Toy and Joy vending machine, 46. Uh, the Pace Cabinet, 75. The Hyperbeam CD jukebox, uh, 240. Stand, 32. 400 for the little grip tester with the back uh, flash. Um, 
have a look at the picture on that. If you look, scroll through the pictures, there's one of the label on the back, a nice Rocker and Walker label. Uh, the All Wind Deluxe 175 was uh, 480. And the coins are usual, I don't think there's anything out with the order in the coins, was there? That was it then. There you go. Coins are just making the usual kind of money. Bumbly bumbly bum. Marvellous. All good stuff. <coughs> Right, let me have a mouth of the tea before my voice goes completely. So, what do we all think? Hope everybody was happy. Bought some nice things. I know a few of you are coming tomorrow to collect. That's good. And roll on the next one. As I say, consignments open for the next vintage amusement sale, which will either be last weekend in May or possibly the first in June, um, depending on this. Uh, how this job works out. So I'll keep you posted on that one. Uh, right, I was going to have a quick look, I promised we would, at the um, couple of little videos which are quite fun. One from 1964, which I thought was good to us. 60 years old today of Easter, uh, the Easter parade and whatnot in Battersea Park. So one from 1964, it's only about a minute long, and one from I think 69 as well, one five years later, so you kind of see how things have changed a little bit. I thought they were good fun, so we'll have a quick look at those. Round up, if anybody needs anything, let me know. Stick in the comments below. Then I'll offer a lie down, I think, and something to eat. Maybe the other way around might be a better idea. So, let's have a look at these. Let me just stick my things in so I can hear them. And we'll go for the 1964 one, which I think is this one. Whether it was the coldest Easter for 60 years or considerably longer, people in Battersea Park were too close together to notice. The usual London Easter parade was the attraction, an unfailing crowd drawer as always. Easter bonnets are no longer the monopoly of the fair sex. Holiday resorts contributed floats as the sponsors of the parade, the London Tourist Board, requested. That irrepressible entertainer, Harry Seacombe, was in his familiar garb as Mr Pickwick. The pretty majorettes did their best to make everyone forget the cold. A contribution from the Queen of the Channel Islands, Jersey, where it's usually considerably warmer than this. Susan Parnell of Enfield was the Easter Princess. All the parade needed was a 20 degree rise of temperature. Oh. That ended rather abruptly, didn't it? That was 1964 Easter, so 60 years ago today. I thought that was quite a fun little film. And there's another one here from, from five years later to round things off with. Changes that the Easter Princess is always a dish at the Battersea Park Easter Parade. It was a glorious day for the annual procession and half a million day out holiday makers enjoyed the heat wave and had a grand time watching the fabulous procession which this year had as its theme a cavalcade of transport through the ages. The London Tourist Board must have pulled out all the stops to put on such an eye appeal show. There were many reminders of tranquil times past when a bag of oats and a drop of water were how fuel consumption was measured. Sometimes not even that. Coming a little more up to date, when man had mastered the wheel, wobbling was avoided by adding another wheel. Transport rapidly became more and more luxurious, but while the boffins worked on the rolling stock, the ladies kept a sharp eye on the fashion scene, especially at Easter. Oh, another one that ended rather abruptly. There you are. I thought they were quite nice, weren't they? Bit of a contrast to London as it is today, where you don't really walk down the street anymore, do you? For fear of getting 
mugged or stabbed or murdered or something. So, uh, hmm, what can one say? Hey ho, right, there we are then. I think that's it for me. I am uh, a bit shattered, to put it mildly, from the last uh, week today. So I shall sign off. Uh, thank you all very much, as per usual, uh, for all your bids today, if you bid. And uh, we'll catch up again probably, should be Tuesday night, should it? That should be fine. And I'll be a bit more back to normal by then, hopefully. And uh, get these factoid things up. I still just I just run out of time again today. By the time I've done all the uh, got all the invoices and things out, it was time to uh, do the live stream again. So oh, there's only so many hours in a day, and I work all of them. That's it. So happy Easter. Go and have some chocolate. I think I might do that now. And uh, catch you Tuesday, nighty night. -night.